Howdy. It is late already. <laughs> And I'm not quite home. Like, I went home to pick up Jai D to bring him out here to go to the bathroom, and now I'm sitting on my bike waiting for him to be done doing that, but giving him ample time to play with these other dogs that are around here, too, before going home because he's stuck in the house all day. This summit is going on. The Moikau Summit is happening. This is day four, and it is incredible. It's so exhausting, but it's really incredible. So, we had Yodkun Pan for the first three days, and he was awesome. And uh, Karahat just got here, so today was Karahat's first full day, and he'll be with us for the whole time. Um, but he has a few days before his actual teaching day with Nam Kabun. And then after that, we have Samson Hassan and Diesel Noy coming on the same day, but we will still have Nam Kabun and Karahat. And then on the 17th, we have Long Salon and his friend um, Pun coming down that will be awesome. It's four days and it feels like an incredibly long amount of time already because so much is packed into each session. I'm so proud of these women who are training. They're training really hard. We have Sao Sing. Uh, Chomini is, today was her last day and we have Sai Fa for another, I think, two days. Um, so we have these Yod Mo Ying, like incredible female Thai fighters who are helping out. They're doing awesome. Sao Sing is like unreal in how she manages everything and then Sai Fa is just incredible incredibly generous in everything that she teaches everyone, especially in the clinch. She's a legit Muay Cow fighter, so she's really incredible. And uh, I just, I'm never home anymore. <laughs> like, I don't sleep anymore. Um, I basically am getting up at like 4.30 to go do the morning runs on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. And then I do my pads with Pinu right after that. Come home, I can hang out and drink some coffee for like an hour, then go back to the gym. Uh, and have the uh, morning training session for the summit. I'm there way after everyone leaves doing a lot of kind of like logistical stuff and then cleaning up the gym after us and stuff like that. Uh, I get home and have like a few minutes to um, sit down or eat with Kevin or whatever the thing is and then back to the gym to get afternoon training for myself because I still need to be getting uh, clinching and sparring and stuff. Um, at the gym with the boys who I normally train with. I haven't really been getting that even um, because a lot of the women are fucking champion awesome and they're coming and they want to do clinching and sparring with the boys there too, which I, I am not complaining. It's awesome that they're coming and doing this extra work, but I have to make sure that they're getting that done. I have to monitor it because they're not used to sparring with uh, the Thai boys. The Thai boys are not used to sparring with um, Western women who are bigger than them. <laughs> they're used to me. I'm much smaller. Um, and so when that's finished, it's time to, like, segue straight into the evening uh, session of the Moy Cow Summit because we come straight after that training. Um, and then, again, I'm there after everyone leaves finishing my stuff and cleaning up the gym and stuff. So we get home at, like, 8.30 or 9, and then if it's a day that Kevin eats, we um, have to go get food. So we haven't been home yet. So that's my super uninteresting description of <laughs> I am never home anymore. Um, so poor Jaidi is home alone a lot, but he's doing all right. It's, it's just a little bit for him. He'll come with us to Karat, um, and to Chiang Mai when we have our fight card up there. So again, everything is amazing. Everything's going really well. Um, it's awesome for me to be able to keep, uh, getting my pad work with Pinu and, and have my pad work in the evenings at the Moi Kao Summit and, um, working with all these incredible women. Um, so much going on at all times. People are growing so fast. Um, it's kind of incredible. I'm kind of like, is it, is it too much? <laughs> like, but people are picking it up. And uh, because there's going to be a video of it after, they can review it, which is really amazing. Because if you just come and get this much information, you can only hold so much of it, which is fine. Because you kind of gravitate to the things that stick to you anyway. Like, you're the glue and whatever techniques you really like are gonna stick to you anyway. And then the other stuff that you don't fully understand or don't fully remember will be there in the video as well. People have been on the live feed. Janine is an incredible host. Kevin is taking such good pictures. I don't, he is like, we got this camera a little bit before the summit, kind of for the summit, but also to start upping our like artistic game of the content that we're putting out. And Kevin is just like, I don't know. He's got a thing. He's really, really good at it. So that's exciting as well. Um, if you guys have not been seeing this stuff, definitely go to my uh, Facebook page and check out everything that's going on there. We have links and stuff. But uh, if you want to check out the live stream, 
the the link is uh, a little bit crazy so I'm gonna put it in the description of this video um, but if you jump on you can ask questions and stuff uh, as we're going and when legends are showing things and stuff like that which is I think is awesome um, so I'm rambly and super tired I'm gonna go home and lay down uh, when I find my dog so thank you guys for sitting through this whole thing thanks to the women who are at the summit thanks to everyone who's been helping thanks to our sponsors thanks to my sponsors thanks to my patrons I don't do this alone at all so thank you to everyone talk to you later